Hello and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam and today we're going to talk about, what is it called? How toleration equals stuck. So there's always those things on our list. We notice, we put it on a list, we think we'll do it later, we'll have five minutes at the end of the day, and then it lingers. It just sits there, right? So sometimes when things linger, we end up feeling stuck. After a while, it makes us feel bad. It doesn't feel like we're in power or control when we're trying to get stuff done because there's all these other things that also need to get done. And they're just lingering there in the background, causing our brains to use up energy. And really, there's quite an easy fix. But let me tell you a little story about how much better I feel today after doing this yesterday myself. So across from my desk on the wall is this uh, little painting collage thing that a friend of mine did for me years ago. I love it. It's beautiful. It's in a frame. And somehow a bug got in the frame, like a little um, mosquito, <laughs> and it died. And it was in there between the glass and the mat. And I was looking at it every day for quite a while. It's been months. And every time I'd walk by it, which was frequently, because it's next to the door to my office and to the outside where I come and go, I would see that little mosquito stuck between the frame and the glass. And I would think, I got to do something about that this weekend. And it's been on my list. I finally did it yesterday. <laughs> and I can't tell you how much better I feel. It literally took less than five minutes to take the frame apart, clean the glass, put it all back together, rehang it on the wall. And yet it had been lingering, keeping me stuck from moving on to another more important thing on the list. It was just always there nagging me. And I had to look at it every time on the list. So what I want to share today is, is how you can get through your tolerations. There's often many that we are putting up with after a while because time gets away from us. It's been a really weird couple of years. There's been some stuff where you want to take care of it and you can't actually take care of it because the world has gone to hell in a handbasket. But um, you can control some things like cleaning a bug out of a frame or um, scrubbing the lime scale out of your tea kettle. You know, there's some little things like that you, that you do have some control over. Sometimes it's just a phone call or swapping a calendar page or something else. Little things like that, getting that thing to the car, getting the bag of donations to the Goodwill, right? All these little things pile up. I don't want you to pile them up anymore. I mean, every once in a while they do. But when you begin to feel like there's too many things on your list, that first thing you want to do is, okay, well, what am I tolerating? What are all the weird little things that are keeping my brain busy so that I forget that I'm supposed to be working on my important stuff? And let's start taking care of them. So the first thing you want to do is create a, like a brain dump of all these things you're tolerating. Grab a pen and a pad. Grab your iPad. Grab your phone. Start going around your house and look at all the little things that you're tolerating. Create a master list of tolerations. Look around your office. Look around your computer screen. What's on your desktop? What's in the email box? What are you tolerating? Too many things you've signed up for. Too many subscriptions to streaming services that may or may not even be in existence anymore. Too many memberships. Where are the money leaks in these tolerations, right? Look at all those things. Get a list going. A big, gigantic list of just thing, little quick things or quickish things. Maybe not quick so much as easy things. Like it requires one phone call or um, that may take 45 minutes, but it's just one phone call. Um, those little things that, that fall through the cracks, changing the batteries and the, the uh, smoke detector, changing um, the light bulbs that are burnt out in the closet because you don't go into that particular closet very often. But every time you do, <laughs> it's annoying, right? Little annoyances. That's what tolerations I'm talking about here. But if you want to carry it farther, what are you tolerating in the relationships in your life? What needs to be addressed? What have you kept your mouth closed about that you may need to just have a quick conversation about? Have those courageous conversations when you need to. It's just as important as changing your light bulb finally. 
Um, and what I would like to ask you to do, I want to challenge you to actually commit to one of the following, either taking care of one of those tolerations every day or scheduling a weekly toleration time where you spend about an hour and you just do as many of the toleration things on your list as you can. And then you do it again next week till you catch up. And you can reapply this strategy whenever that list starts feeling super long and overwhelming. It's really just a matter of having a plan. And now you know the plan. You know those little things. There's a reason we want to take care of them. So your brain frees up its energy. And you want to write down what you're tolerating. You want to commit to completing one a day or one one hour session a week where you take care of as many of them on the list as possible and then go to the next week anyway i hope this helps i will see you next week don't forget to subscribe follow like turn on your notifications and tell all your friends because this is much more fun when we do it together um have a delightful day